into a war zone. A local nurse is getting ready to fly to the Middle East to try to save lives in Gaza. She leaves the Bay Area Monday. And our Grant Lotus talked with her tonight. He joins us now live in the studio. Grant, what uh, motivated her to help? Ken and Vicki, it's really pretty simple. She wants to try to save lives. Sandy Adler Killen lives in Fairfax and Marin, typically works as a nurse in uh, Richmond's Kaiser, but she'll be receiving people in ambulances in Gaza who need stabilizing, so they hopefully do not add to the casualty count there. Sandy's working with the nonprofit Karus. It's based in Berlin, which does have its own security detail. Her kids are now adults, but she says they still have mixed emotions. Of course, my children are very, very proud of me. Um, and they also worry. They want to know a lot of details. You know, my mother is 87. She obviously is worried about her her daughter. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not somebody that is going to take, you know, undue chances. Our role is basically to take care of the patients, provide them all the emergency care, getting them ready for surgery, getting them ready for the ICU. The thing that's weighing most heavily on me, honestly, is the suffering that I'm gonna see, that I'm gonna witness. Um, you know, just the dire, dire circumstances that people are being forced to live in. It's going to be culture shock, obviously. Yeah. Uh, this is actually her fifth career. Um, became a nurse 14 years ago and wanted to get into nursing to do things like this. She's mm. been to Jordan, Syria. Wow. Um, you know, she's going to be eating dehydrated food. Uh, there's a little apartment apparently in Gaza that this uh, that this nonprofit has secured. She doesn't know if there'll be clean water. Wow. May have to try to filter it. Uh, her big thing is, you know, she it wants a ceasefire before she gets there. Um, you know, she'll be receiving people who were injured if there isn't. Should there be a ceasefire, her other uh, area of expertise is uh, helping nursing mothers mm -hmm. uh, get that going, a lactation consultant. She has her own business doing that on the side right. here. So if the violence stops, she'll then switch her focus to try to help these uh, moms get their babies uh, healthy uh, because it's been such a struggle. You know, there's not enough food for the moms and, and it trickles down obviously sure. to these infants. So it's uh, admirable that yeah. she's that it is taking that risk and, and it's obviously a risk even given the security that is in place. You just obviously never know. Yeah. She's gonna make a difference though. I mean, it, it, that's how desperate things are. Each person does make a significant difference just by being there. One hundred percent. And she said people she, like her. She's she got a friend in who lives in Syria, who is a doctor who was just there in Gaza for a couple of weeks. He lost fifteen pounds. Oh wow! Because he didn't have the same sort of uh, organization to support him, and it's just dire there. So. All right. Thank All right. you for well, bringing Good luck to us. her. Absolutely. Meantime, uh, President Biden.